Welcome to YouTube News. I'm your host, Thomas Miller. story has to do with student athletes using their YouTube channels to either promote their businesses or promote something that they love. Well, this is not allowed by the National College Athletic Association, but they do want people to have their own businesses and, you know, be successful and, you know, share their life with people, but they do not want people to use their status as a star athlete at a college. Now you all remember Donald D. L. Hine, the football star from Florida Central. He basically would vlog about football and you know using his status as a football star. Well, the NCAA didn't like that too much and told him basically you either have to you continue vlogging but leave out the football part, or if you leave the football part in in your vlogs. Well, we're going to take away your scholarship. And that's what they did, because he refused to do that. He refused to drop the football part in his vlogs, and so he lost his scholarship. Well, there's another student athlete that's in hot water by the NCAA who goes to Texas AM. His name is Ryan Tanhan, which is a eco-friendly water bottle company known as Neptune Bottles. Basically, the NCAA is not happy about this and is saying, hey, you can promote your company, just don't use your status as a cross-country star, which he is, by the way, to promote your business. That's all they're saying. You can still promote your business and have your business, or otherwise you could lose your scholarship. As of right now, he has not lost his scholarship, but he's facing the same tough decision that Donald had to face not too long ago. So. My thought to all you people out there is you think this is a good policy to have by the NCAA or is this a bad policy? I want to know what your thoughts about this, you know, with student athletes, you know, not being able to use their status as an athlete, especially, you know, since now everyone's got a lot of money and can go to any college they want, you know, you got to get scholarships and whatnot and face, you know, that choosing between something that they, they really care about to promote and also care about something they also love and it'll combine the two together and then have to lose their scholarship because they cannot do both. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this story. The final story has to do with YouTube rebranding their Creator Studio app. That's right, it's now known as YouTube Studio. Basically, it used to allow you to check your analytics, leave comments, but now you can also schedule uploads with it. That's right, you can schedule uploads anywhere in the world, whether you're on an Android device or an iOS device. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. You'll be able to schedule like say seven o'clock, eight o'clock the next day. That's right, you can schedule uploads while you're on the go via the new YouTube Studio app. So download today and try it out for yourself. I think this is an amazing, awesome idea. So that way you can really get a video up at the right time to get more views. That's the purpose of this, you know, is to engage your audience a lot quicker, to get those videos at the right moment, at the right time, to really go, hey, here we go, watch this amazing video. Because there's certain times where people are more likely to view your videos, and now you're able to schedule that upload even when you're not at home, isn't that cool or what? So what are your thoughts about that? Are you excited about this new feature? Are you not excited about it? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget all my links to both my stories will be in the description. Don't forget to check out Excel Projections over here and my friend Chris's channel over here and my last video I did all right over here. 
and this is Thomas Mosting. Thanks for watching YouTube News, and see you next time.